Hello everyone, uh, this is your favorite Murtad and today we have a very interesting topic buddy. Uh, I'm going to, it will be a very, very short video because I have already shown that a couple of times in my longer videos, but those are longer marathons. So I wanted to put it out in a very shorter manner. Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, according to Fakhruddin al-Razi in his Tafsir of Quran chapter number 93 verse number 6 explains and shows how his uncle Abu Talib who is the father of Ali kind of molested Muhammad when he was almost 8 to 9 years of a child. You guys have never heard that before, right? So let me go and read the English translation first and then I will show you the Arabic version of it as well. Now this is the English translation. It is as accurate as it could be. Let's read. After the death of Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib, the father of Prophet of Islam, while the mother of the Prophet is still pregnant with him, and then he was born, he was with his grandfather Abdul Mutlib and his mother Amina. Amina died while he was only two years of age and grandfather also died when he was eight years old. And before his death, Abdul Mutlib asked Abdul Talib to take care of the Prophet since he was Abdullah's brother from the same mother. So Abu Talib, took custody of the Prophet of Allah after grandfather passed away until he was commissioned with prophecy. So Muhammad received the prophetic word supposedly at the age of 40. We are going to skip forward a little. We are going to read the exact line. It has been told that Abu Talib one day said to his brother Al Abbas. So Abu Talib is telling Al Abbas. Abu Talib says do you want to hear about Muhammad and what I saw from him? Al Abbas said, yes, tell me. And Abu Talib said, he was in my custody and not leaving him out of my sight day and night. Up till now, it's fine. And do not entrust him to anyone until I make him sleep in my bed. Uh, fair enough. We can still swallow that. The next part is bad. Abu Talib said, one night I ordered him to take off his clothing and sleep with me. Interesting, right? So I saw resentment on his face, but hated to show disobedience and he replied back. So Muhammad hated to do that, but you know, because of the love of his uncle, he couldn't say that. But Abu Talib saw the resentments on his face. But what did Muhammad said to him? Oh, uncle, put away your face until I take off my clothing as no one should see me naked. So imagine Muhammad is going to be naked. When people say take off the clothes, it does not mean he was be naked. That's the tafsir saying that. So I was puzzled from his response and I did put my face away until he came to the bed naked. And when he did, there was a dress between both of us that I did not put. So there was a sheet kind of a thing that you take over yourself, something like that. Fair enough. And then I found that he is too soft. So he was touching <clears throat> Muhammad's naked body and smells so good as if he is soaked in scent, in perfume, in mushk, that's the Arabic word. So I kept trying hard to stare at his body a lot of times during our sleep. And I found that he, I used to miss him. He used to get out of the bed, etc., etc. Now, this is in tafsir. What are the main points over here? Abu Talib requested Muhammad to take off his clothes and come to bed. Point number one, naked. 
he was trying hard to stare at an eight years old naked boy. He managed to touch him during his sleep and describes his skin being very soft. He was obviously enjoying the presence of a naked boy as he kept smelling, staring, and touching him. And this should be very, very common in the Badwan community of Muhammad and his uncle because if we read above over here, over here, Abu Talib is saying, so I was puzzled from his response. So Abu Talib was not expecting that when I will tell a eight year or nine years old child to take off his clothes and come into my bed, he should say something like this, that, oh, uncle, don't look at my naked body. So we see Muhammad was molested while he was a child by his very own uncle who is supposed to be acting as his father as Muhammad is the adopted son for Abu Talib right now. But now this is my source. So let me show you the actual source. This is Tafsir that I just told you guys about. Tafsir al-Razi. Okay. This is Tafsir al-Razi. Tafsir al-Kabir al-Razi. Okay. Ar-Razi is not a small name. It's a big name. Chapter number 93, uh, 93 uh, Ayah number 6. So let me go down over here to see where it is. And it says, Fakana Abu Talib Hu Walazi. Okay. So we can take this. Let's zoom in now so that everyone can see. So here we see. We will take a copy of this. Ravi Abu Talib to Abbas. And let's take this part here for now. And we will say Google Translate Arabic. You can see it is narrated that Abu Talib said one day to his brother Al Abbas, Did I tell you about Muhammad? What I saw from him? He said, Yes. So he said, I hugged him. Uh, okay. So how can I not leave him for an hour of the night or a day, nor trust him with anyone until I sleep with him in my bed? So I ordered him a night to take off his clothes and sleep with me. And I saw the hatred in his face, but he hated to disagree with me. So this is as much zoom as I can do. Let's take the next rest of the part. Wakala. Okay. And it is said, let's just say that. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, Phil Musk. So let's do that. So, oh, blindness. So basically, Muhammad said, please turn away your face, turn away your face, close your eyes from me until I take off my clothes, since no one should look at my body. So I was astonished. So Abu Talib was astonished at what he said, and I distracted my eyes until he entered the bed. When I entered the bed with him, there was a garment place between me and him. And why does it not say that? Hold on. Uh, okay, now the garment between me and him. And by God, I bought my bed into. Then it was so he was so soft and he smelled like a fragrant if it was dipped in musk. If it was dipped in musk. So Muhammad had beautiful smell, yes, fair enough. But why does Abu Talib had to make him go naked and touch his naked body? This is the tafsir. The link will be in the description. Muhammad was molested when he was a child. And that is why we see a lot of problems in this kid when he grew up and so-called professed that he is a prophet, self-proclaimed prophet. But his actions described how deprived he was of love and why he did so many marriages and why he was involved in sex with so many people. These Muslims has to get out of this. They need to see that there is problem, big problem, and he cannot be a prophet. I hope you guys like the video. So please like, subscribe, and share. Yeshua 
Akbarul Azim.